Hey guys, welcome back for today's video session. What I want to do is to introduce to a new sensor that is SI1132. Now, let's have a look over this sensor in a better way and for that log on to the website that is controlleverything.com and here search for this particular sensor that is SI1132. Now, what we got for the sensor that it's a UV index ambient light sensor and these are some of its features you can see on my screen. Also, you can purchase the sensor from here. Further, I will be interfacing the ambient light sensor SI1132 with an Arduino Nano and for that I require a code. What for that is to go to resource tab and here comes the Arduino code sample. You can have the Arduino code sample as a zip file from here. You can download it. Also, you can have the opportunity to download the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. Now what we want is to interface and for that we require some hardware to make some connections for the video. Let's see it. First of all in the hardware connection setup we require an Arduino Nano which you are able to see on my screen and this here is an I2C shield. The reason the idea behind using this I2C shield is to make connections with other I2C devices and that connection should be a lot easier and also we can purchase the I2C shield from the website that is controlleverything.com. Now gently press over the Arduino Nano over the I2C shield and make a connection. The next part is to bring our sensor that is UV index ambient light sensor SI1132 and this here is a connecting cable. Now make the connection among the cable and the sensor and make sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and same goes for the I2C shield. The last part is to power up our Arduino Nano and for that we require a mini USB cable just like this and gently insert it over the power jack. So we are done with the part of the interfacing, uh, the connecting of the devices. Now what we require is to code. Let's have it. Now coming to the interfacing, what we require is to log in to github.com and here we have to search for the repository that is control everything community which you are able to see on my screen and there you go and here comes the sensor we are looking forward it's SI1132 it's a UV index ambient light sensor and here comes the Arduino code but let's have a look over the instructions we need to pursue first and it says that we have to download and install Arduino software on the local machine ID that is and Arduino.cc is the link which will help us to install the setup of the Arduino step by step and as you can see you can download the Arduino software from here uh, it runs on Windows, Mac and Linux now what we require is to pursue all the relevant information from this very site and install the software now get back to the code as you can see it's an Arduino code with .in extension file and let's begin with the code you can see uh, we have included y.h library and we have defined the address of the sensor that is 0x60. Next we have the void setup function where we have initialized I2C communication as master and serial communication with the baud rate equal to 9600. Then come in the writing section where we are sending the response to the sensor and first of all you can see we have selected COF1 that's the coefficient 1 register having the address 0x39 and we are sending the command for the default value that is 0x29 then the second part the second command is to select the coefficient 2 register having address 0x14 and we are sending the command again for the default value for this particular register that is 0x89 and the third command is to select the coefficient register having address 0x15 again similarly we are sending the default value command and it goes for 0x02 then we are selecting the coefficient 4 register having address 0x16 sending again the default value 0x00 like that now what we require is to select the next part is to select param wr register as you can see having address 0x17 and we are sending to the command to enable UV and visible and IR that is infrared uh, rays as you can see and the command uh, register is uh, 0xf0 now we are selecting the command register as you can see that is 0x18 and we are sending the command to select CH list register in RAM and it goes for 0x01 or with 0xe0 
then we have to select the bottom rd raise to having a dress 0x 2e and we are reading the data from here it's the response that the sensor sends back to us after sending so many writing commands and we are requesting one byte of data as you can see from here now after that we are selecting hw key raise to having a dress 0x 07 and the default value is 0x17 for that we are sending that part now again we are selecting the param wr is to having address 0x17 and we are sending the command for small ir photo diode that is 0x00 then we are sending the command uh, to select the command register having address 0x18 and we are selecting als ir adc max register in ram and the address the command address is 0x0 or with 0x a0 so the next part is to select the param rd register having address 0x2e and from that register we are reading requesting one byte of data please note it down then again we are selecting the param wr register having address 0x17 and we are setting the command to set adc clock divided by 1 having address 0x00 then we are selecting the command register having address 0x18 selecting als ir adc gate register in ram having address the command address that is 0x1 e or with 0x a0 then the reading section again comes we are selecting for a read that is rd register having address 0x2 e requesting and reading one byte of data similarly uh, we are sending the command to select the register for wr register writing that is uh, address 0x17 setting the adc clock 511 that's writing command is 0x70 we are selecting the command register again having address 0x18 the selecting als ir adc counter register in ram having the address of the command that is 0x1d or with 0x a0 then we are having again the reading command reading register that is param rd register having address 2e requesting and reading one byte of data then again we have the param or wr register having address uh, 0x17 set adc clock divided by one address command is 0x00 selecting command register again writing uh, the register is 0x18 uh, selecting als vis visible that is adc gain register in ram wire and uh, would dot write which is the command for that that is 0x11 or with 0x a0 then we have the param rd register having the command to read as you can see 0x2e requesting and reading one byte of data as you can see then we have the param wr register having address 0x17 high signal range 0x20 that is then again we are selecting command register having 0x18 select als ir adc misc register it's for ir uh, that you can see the command 0x1 app and or with 0x a0 again param read command uh, register that you can see 0x2e requesting and reading one byte of data now we have to select param r register having address 0x17 511 adc clock again we are setting for 0x70 sending uh, selecting the command register that is 0x18 sending the command to select als vis adc counter register in ram that is 0x10 or with 0x a0 reading the register selecting the register that is 0x2 e param rd register requesting and reading one byte of data similarly pursuing this part we are selecting the param wr register having address 0x17 uh, high signal range we are setting uh, sending that is 0x20 we are selecting the command register having address 0x18 selecting als vis adc misc register in ram having address the command address that is 0x12 or with 0x a0 then the last part is to select the param read register rd that is 0x2e and requesting and reading one byte of data so we have a lot of commands from which we are getting a lot of response lot of data now what we're gonna do is to select the command register that is coming to the writing reading section uh, writing here 0x1d that is a read part uh, now selecting als conversion that is 0x0e then again we are selecting the data register 0x22 and for that we are requesting and reading four bytes of data as you can see visible ir now here comes the conversion of the data which is according to the data sheet of si1132 now after that we are selecting the data register that is 0x2c and we are requesting 
two bytes of data for the ultraviolet that is UV and we have the conversion of the data again according to the data sheet of SI1132. At the very end of our code, we have the output data on the screen which you can see as the visible light of source, IR of the source and UV of the source all having the unit of LUX. So this is all the relevant code which is of Arduino SI1132. Now what we gonna do is to show the working. Let's have it. Now coming to the working environment, first of all, uh, first step is to copy this entire code. It's a bit lengthy but it's a very easy and generalized code as you can see on my screen. Now what we require is to open up the terminal for the Arduino and in this terminal what we gonna do is to paste the entire code we have just saved, name it SI1132 for the reference, then I'll verify and compile the sketch or the code as you can see. It's done compiling, now upload the code. It might take a while. It's done uploading, now what we're gonna do is to show the response of the sensor uh, on the serial monitor and here we go. As you can see, we have the visible light of source, IR of the source and UV of the source. It's almost constant because there is no interference regarding the supply of the light. But when I place some object over the sensor, you can see the decrease in the Luminance for visible IR and UV as I move the object too near to the sensor you can see the change yeah that's correct but now when I bring some light source near the sensor there's an increase in the visible light source IR and UV as you can see on my screen so this is how the sensor responds now what we want to do is to show the applications benefits and the features of this particular sensor that is SI1132. Let's have it. The SI1132 is a low power ultraviolet index and ambient light sensor with I2C digital interface and programmable event interrupt output. This sensor IC includes an analog to digital converter, integrated high sensitivity visible and infrared photodiodes and digital signal processor. The SI1132 offers excellent performance under a wide dynamic range and a variety of light sources including direct sunlight. This includes a wide range of applications such as fitness, health, electronics, tablets, smartwatches, smartphone handsets, display, backlighting control and a lot more to mention. This sensor can be purchased from the website that is controleverything.com and you can have the code from the resource tab and after that you can download the code as a zip file. You can also have the code from github repository that is control everything community and you can download it from there. Now in the end I would just like to make it clear that at any point if you have any further queries regarding any part of this video tutorial or the sensor you can contact us on controleverything.com and put your comments on the community page of this website. For blogs and articles which are relevant to this sensor and video, go to our blog uh, instructables.com and to subscribe more video tutorials like this, you can have a look over our YouTube channel. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good one yourself. Thanks a lot for watching.